up a Nintendo, Sega Genesis I was 6 in 96, I reminisce Our dreams of being Biggie, Bad Boy, Diddy Spitting rhymes line after line, getting jiggy with it The feeling never forget it huh. A young Mike never slipping up my pivot Balling like Space Jam to the AM or PM Got me yelling crap at DM That's seize the day I'm from the south side with dreams deflate Sally May and Uncle Sam will take your dreams away Yo, 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 yo so I was um I was just listening to uh, Apple Music for everybody who has Apple Music. I want y'all to check this station out. Um, if you're a rap guy, I'm not really a rap guy, but this station is dope. Um, it's Q-Tip Station uh, from Tribe Called Quest. It's uh, Abstract Radio. This 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 station is really dope. It has like um the reason why I dig it is because well the reason why I dug Tribe Called Quest period was because they sample a whole lot of old school soul. So if you know Q Tip, you know he's a real soulful dude. So everything he does is like really sample from old school soul and like his roots or whatever. So I feel like that's kind of I come from that same class. So you'll dig it if you like Tribe, if you like old school soul, if you like 90s rap, you'll dig it. Check it out. Check it out. The bottom line is, I'm talking right now. Let me tell you something. If you like talking to me on this show, you'll let me talk and I'm out here. The bottom line for these people right here is, if you're a man, you don't cry about it. You take life, the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down, you just stay up. That's why I'm the world champion. That's why this sport don't cost $800 and that costs $200. And I don't know what that costs. I'd be ashamed to wear it. That's why I'm wearing lizard shoes and roll my butt and I got a limousine sitting out there a mile long with 25 women just dying for me to go, woo, because I'm the world champion sucker. No one's gonna take it from me unless it's done in the ring. But next time you have an opportunity, talk to your company and look who built the building you guys offer. We're just getting a quick little workout in because I got to go to the doctor in like an hour or two. But the thing is, I don't even remember, um, I don't even remember setting up the appointment. They just called me, they just called me yesterday and was like, yeah, um, don't forget you got a doctor's appointment tomorrow at three. That joint was kind of scary. I'm like, for what? So, y'all pray for me. Hopefully, ain't nothing wrong with me. Cause they don't call me to the doctor's office out of nowhere for nothing. Is it um? I'm about to say, is it weird for anybody else? Like, do y'all work out? What kind of music do y'all work out to? Like, I work out to like, <laughs> like '90s R&B. For some reason that makes my work like it makes me more calm so i'm like less tired i can't work out to like fast stuff because i'll want to go all out and get tired so is that weird to y'all it's been always been it like that for me so it's normal for me i don't know what y'all think i don't i don't really got nothing to do today other than going to the doctor other than going to the doctor so i gotta find a way to like get something that's worth putting on video and I was thinking that um, it's like this little rock quarry thing here in North Carolina. It's like, um, y'all know what a rock quarry is. It's like a big stone type of cliff type of thing. But the thing is that it is like a construction site. And I want to go film there just so I can get like some cool shots or whatever. But I don't know if I'm going to go to jail for like sneaking in there and like videotaping stuff. So I guess y'all will either see me go to jail or y'all will see me get some cool shots i'm about to uh, just chill take a shower watch my cutty kev gaming channel until i go to work i guess i mean not work until i go to the doctor check my homie kev gaming with kev day with kev y'all know kevin edwards jr check him out if y'all if y'all like him tell him i sent you check this out man hold on 
mostly comedies. So, so comedy, tell me why. Tell me why my bed just films. broke. Oh, I was sitting yeah. on it and my bed just, just collapsed. collapsed. Look at this. So I don't think she's gonna leave Look at this. So now I had to put a car jack under my bed because my bed is sagging. So it's either leave this car jack up here or just let my bed be on the ground. I moved to Japan. So my bed is on the floor now. Check me out. So yeah. My bed is on the floor now. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. You know how to cook, girl. Uh, oh yeah, and if y'all if y'all was wondering, that was a lovely meal. Let's these are my means. little Wayne socks. Uh, okay, so it looks like we get somewhere. Cause here. we bout it. What is up, my family? Yo, so I don't know nobody else who's always at the doctor as much as me. Man, and like when I went to the doctor today. They scheduled my appointment. I didn't schedule it. They scheduled my appointment on accident, so I was there for no reason. So I wasted like two hours of my day in there for no reason. They paid me my money back and everything. Like she was like, "Oh, someone, we must have made an error. We just scheduled you this appointment for no reason." But the positive thing is, out of this whole thing is, I got the nurse's number. And she was Asian. She told me to text her, or she told me to call her. And she was, two, and she's two years older than me. So, I guess it was a cool day after all. <laughs> I am uh, just leaving uh, this place in Raleigh called North Hills. Pretty nice little atmosphere. I was getting this um, McAllister's Deli. It's my first time trying it, so Kayla told me to come here. It might be nasty, and if it's nasty, y'all go to her channel and cuss her out for me. Yo, so after a long day at the doctor's office for no reason, I'm just about to come home and kick it and do nothing. And you know you getting old when you look forward to coming home and doing nothing at all. Look, this is what I'm about to do. Come home. Oh, I'm about to watch this. Um, this TV show, this TV show right here called, it's like, I don't know what it's called. <sighs> Dang, I'm hit my head. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's about, um, this dude is trying to stop the assassin assassination of, this, uh, this dude's trying to stop the assassination of JFK. It's, um, it's called 11-22-63. Yo, this show is pretty good so far. If you like like espionage and plot twists and all that, go check it out. Uh, tell them I sent you. Tell Hulu I sent you so they can give me a break on my bill. You know what I'm saying? And they can help me on my light bill. Yo, what's up, y'all? So I'm just bored here. Uh, I figured I'll share this with y'all. I'm just bored right here, um, watching this little this little game on YouTube or whatever. Coming up. And uh, <laughs> look who, look who I found, look who I found on YouTube, y'all. Hold on, let me let me rewind it. Who y'all think this is? That's again, as the player just hit the three, and Kayla Adams. Hey. With a three pointer, and that's what she does best. She takes smart three pointers. Good, but a good rebound by Adams. That's the homie. Right now, I'm about to attempt to make this orange uh, orange push up pop smoothie. If you ever had an orange push-up pop, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, keep in mind, I'm, I'm terrible in the kitchen. So, if you can see that, uh, this is what's supposed to go in it. Um, one can of orange juice concentrate, one can of milk, sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So, I'm about to try and make this and see if it comes out good. I already put the two cups of ice in here. So now, I gotta throw in the Half a cup of, I'm to throw in a half a cup of this vanilla extract. Ooh. Oh, this stink. All right. Boom, half a cup. I mean, half a teaspoon, my bad, half a teaspoon. 
Let's get a little bit more in there just for flavor. For flavor. Um, that pro that is why I'm terrible in the kitchen because I be winging it and messing stuff up. That probably messed it up right there, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We ain't tripping like that though. All right, bet. Um, what's next? The can of orange juice concentrate. Oh, hold on. I'm cooking eggs too, and I forgot they was on the stove. I'm about to burn the crib down trying to make a video. All right, hold on. How I open this? How in the hell? Oh. Bet. It's lit at the night show. Ew, ew, this don't look right. Okay, whatever. Uh, a cup of almond milk or milk. I do almond milk because I don't like regular milk. That junk is nasty. Um, I never like regular milk. Even before I was trying to eat healthy, I was eating, um, drinking almond milk, so. Dang, I ain't washed the dishes, this is dirty. Hold on, let me, let me wash this out real quick. Keep in mind, I'm a guy, I just, oh, I'm a guy, I just throw everything in the dishwasher like, like every guy should. All right, squeak clean. Bam, and I got that, Um, I like to use this vanilla unsweetened almond milk. I think it tastes. I think it tastes the best to me. It tastes like regular milk to me. Cup of this, bam, all right, cup of this. We getting there, we getting there. All right, and I have a cup of sugar. I don't use sugar, I'm gonna use this uh, Truvia, Stevia, Truvia, whatever you call this man. Let me make sure it say half a cup. One half C. One half C, that's a cup, right? Is that like a cup? Yeah, cup, yeah, that's a cup, all right. Dang, a whole half a cup of this, though? Dang, this mess gonna be extra sweet, cuz. All right, half a cup, that's what it say. One half C. If I get diabetes, Blame recipesforliving.com. We gonna sue them for my diabetes bill. All right, bet, let me see. I got the extract, got the ice, got the sugar, got the milk, got the concentrate. Boom, that's everything. What that, that, that look good to y'all? I don't know, that don't look too good to me, but we about to see, we about to check it out. It's about to be late, hold on. y'all this is making a terrible noise and y'all can't hear me talk so i'm uh through the magic of editing y'all gonna see when this is done and we're gonna do a taste test be right back all right y'all it is done and uh we about to check it out we about to see if it's lit hold on It ain't bad. It ain't bad. But I think I'm gonna throw some more vanilla in there and a little bit more sugar. That's gonna set it off. Yo, it is early. But good morning. I'm um right now I'm about to head to the mall to get these shoes. Um I'm not a sneaker dude at all. I've been wearing these shoes since I was in like the seventh grade. I'm really about to date myself, but back in what, 2003 or 2004, 
I was in seventh grade and I remember watching if you were old as me and you're a basketball fan I remember watching the Pistons uh, win that championship in against the Lakers in 2004 and um, Rip Hamilton was wearing the shoot these uh, blue and white 12s the whole season I mean the whole playoff and um, I had wanted them really bad but my mom just couldn't afford for it to get them for my birthday because the um, the finals are in June and my birthday's in July so they dropped them right after the finals and I wanted them super super bad and my mom just couldn't afford to get them for me so I always wanted them ever since then and they hadn't came out again since then and I wasn't about to pay. I'm still not a fan of paying 190 because back when I was in the shoes, Jordan used to be 135. That's how you know I'm old. But um, now they 190. But it's either pay 190 or I could have gotten them by now, but they would have been like $500. And that's just foolish um, to pay $500 for a pair of shoes. So um, I'm about to go get them and drop this 190 that I do not want to drop. Uh, but the reason why I made this video was because um, my homegirl Drew. Thank God for my homegirl Drew. She um she if I can figure out later on how to edit this video, if I can fi figure out how to insert a clip of her, um, I will. Cause she was in my vlog when I have uh, went to go to Greensboro. So y'all seen her before, but she uh she she got a booger. <laughs> I ain't got no booger too. You wanna pull it out, nigga? Wow. Alright, go ahead. She's a manager at Finish Line. And she came through for me. She got she got them for me no problem. So thank God for Drew. I appreciate you, Drew. I love you, Drew. You're the best, Drew. Thank God for Drew. Um, but I will see y'all at the mall. Uh, and hopefully the line ain't too crazy. That's another thing why I, I stopped being a shoe guy. <clears throat> because when I was in the shoes lines weren't crazy you could just show up the net you, you you don't even have to camp out back in the day you could just show up say the store open at nine you can show up at like 8 30. it might be like 10 people in line you get your shoes boom you're good to go now you gotta go overnight or you gotta get a raffle and play this whole game so i haven't bought a pair of shoes since 2012. so um and all i have is jordan's if you cannot tell i'm not bragging but i'm just saying if you cannot tell by my just looking at my room like i'm a kid of the early 90s so just like any kid of the early 90s who played it, it's like any guy from the early 90s who played basketball of course michael jordan's your hero other than your parents so um i remember meeting michael jordan uh, actually in charlotte a long time ago and i've been a super fan ever since i've i'm a fan of everything he's ever done i'm a fan of the bulls i'm a fan of the hornets i'm a fan of the white Sox. i'm a fan of everything he's ever done so um I pick that's all I wear because I love the shoes but for some reason I know I'm a grown man now but I still I, they're still you know I still I still become a kid at heart when it comes to Michael Jordan so um, and he wasn't an asshole to me everyone who's ever met him say he was an asshole but maybe because I was a kid he was really nice to me um, so you know my hero they, they always say don't meet your heroes but he was very very nice to me he was very nice to my dad he um matter of fact he signed I had a little like a little kid's jersey on at the game and he signed the jersey for me. And I don't know what I did with the jersey. I don't know what my dad did with the jersey, but yeah, he was he was so nice to me, man. Um and that's why I'm a loyal fan of the greatest ever forever. Alright, I'm gonna catch y'all at the mall and I'm gonna see if I can get some footage at the mall without punking out because people are looking at me. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Peace.
Thank God for Drew. Thank God for Drew. Hashtag thank God for Drew. So yeah, that's the first time I ever had to stand in line for some shoes, y'all. And the last time. Um, but I had to get them because I wore them since I was a kid. So I'm about to go get my hair cut now. And I don't know what I'm going to do after this. But I'll take y'all with me. We're going to see. Man, check that out. That is dope. I should like come here and shoot in front of that sometimes. Now that I'm doing like call myself doing YouTube, I'll be trying to like think of creative shots to get or whatever. I'm just going out of my way to shoot stuff. So maybe one day, maybe one day if I do get serious about it. But we'll see. I got a cold flow, no crack about to blow. Ten four, can you hear me through the intercom? I grab a mic and eat beats when it's dinner time. I keep my lines tight every time I rhyme nice. She kinda cute, what would you do for a Klondike? I'm in the limelight, shine bright latitude. I keep it real, milk bone is the attitude. And now I'm flowing, all these skills that I'm sewing, and I wonder should I stop? Nah, keep going. Yo, um, for all those who care, um. Oh dang, she not mess mustard. Oh, left me alone, left. Dang, she not mess with mustard. Yo. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, ladies Whatever. and gentlemen. The but for all those who care, um, really needs no I guess I'll show y'all the shoes. Please give it up for our So this is it, right here. Boom, I've been wanting them since seventh grade, 2000, when I was in seventh grade in 2004, so. Oh God, so yeah. My babies. Woo. This is my favorite shoe. Uh, the Jordan 12 is my favorite shoe. I'm not a shoe guy anymore, I really, don't really care um but for anybody who cares the reason why the jordan 12 is my favorite shoe is because this was my first jordan ever and i got these when i was in second grade the cherries and um this is my favorite jordan of all time i got these when i was in second grade well obviously not this pair but i got this colorway when I was in second grade. This is my favorite Jordan ever. And this, uh, the 12, the form factor, is my favorite retro ever. For anybody who really cares, who's a sneaker person out there. I mean, I have a little, a little bit, and it's pretty much all Jordan, because I'm just still a Michael Jordan super fan. So for anybody who cared, uh, I was just gonna want to show y'all these. So here they are. French Blue Twelves, blah blah blah. I gotta clean up my room. I ain't even tripping like that. Damn. Yo, about to go. Uh, about to go watch this uh, USC game with the homies. Um, one of them is a Duke fan, and the other one is a NC State fan. So this is gonna be interesting. And y'all get to come along with me. Here go this. With his Negro again. Check him out. What up, blood? Yeah. You ready to see my Tar Heels where your wolf pack isn't? What you mean? We've been there about five, six times. Yeah, we. Oh, oh yeah, we know y'all only. Y'all only time. been there one time because y'all can't raise enough money to pay the refs off again. Hey, why it's so dark in here? What is this? What are you playing? Where the fuck is my windows? Fuck you. So y'all niggas can come in my house. You got food in the refrigerator. Y'all can come in my house and not bring me no goddamn windy. Well, well, well Brian bought this for me because I'm broke. I'm about to play she can get it with the fellas. The spoiler alert, Superman dies. Yeah, I can just edit that out, dumbass. Anyway, we're about to play uh, she can get it with the fellas. Alright, so <clears throat> she can get it. A girl with no legs. 
a girl with Down syndrome <laughs> or a blind woman. Boom. Man, shit. Go, G. I'm gonna go with a girl with no legs because you can put her in position. <laughs> With a blind girl, she might can't see, but she gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna make her see. <laughs> see uh, I'm gonna go with the blind girl because I'm gonna I'm cure all her ailments. <laughs> Shoot, you know what I'm talking about? You think about it though. You get a you get a girl with no legs. <laughs> all you gotta do is stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you gotta stand. All she gotta do is stand up on them nubs. <laughs> Yeah, just so look, look, you gotta prop her up like a tripod. Like a, <laughs> no. You gotta lean up against the bookcase. You know, uh, on Pornhub yesterday they had made the whole site Cornhub. For April Fool's? Yeah. Boy, they got the whipping of their lives. Alright, your turn, G. Uh, okay. Oprah, Wendy right. Williams. Come on, man. Or, uh, I already know who I'm picking. Roseanne. I would have fucked Oprah before you even said that. Oprah. Okay, Oprah at 85. Oprah. Oprah. No money. Damn. <laughs> uh, uh, who is the other one? Roseanne. They, and, these are. And Wendy Williams. They're, they're, it's two men and a woman. Yeah. So I got to go with Oprah because she's the only woman. Yeah. I'm not messing with Wendell Williams. Yeah. I have to go with, uh, with Wayne Williams. <laughs> All right, Nick. Like, I am, so. That's, so, no man, that's a man, too. Yeah. <laughs> she, look, she about to dunk on me. Hell, hell no. You tripping, cuz. You tripping. You gotta go. <laughs> we gotta, this nigga gotta walk home. All right, Nick. She can get it. She can get it. Would you rather have a girl? Matter of fact, let's, 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 let's keep it serious. Would you have it, rather have a virgin or a girl that knows what she's been doing? Oh, a girl knows what she's been doing. You don't want nobody that. No. Because, look, look, we, we all, well, we, we all probably been there. When they be like, oh no, stop, no, stop. No, nobody want to do that. No, nobody want, because that's, look, you you get all ready and going. And then you got to stop, go in, stop. And then she wind up being like, no, let's try again later. Now you got blue balls. I know that one hits this. Nigga. Now you got blue balls. Well, me and my <coughs> girlfriend at the time, we lost our virginity. Oh, boo. Boo. I was like, she was saying. <laughs> She was like, I want this to be special in a hotel. <laughs> you want it to be special in the motel? You're going to get the Super 8 special. <laughs> You're going to get something special, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need right. to say it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, speaking of Jesus Christ, would you ever oh, sleep with no, nigga. Mary? What? Oh. Okay. Nigga, what? Married, married, married. Am I allowed to say nigga? Yeah. yeah. Alright, nigga. So, so, no, nah, I ain't trying to get struck right now. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This is a struck, a street, a strike. Like, oh, damn, stri strike free zone. Jesus was like, look, now you already, Look, Jesus was like this. You already pushed me. Don't talk about my mom. Don't talk about my mom. What'd you say? What'd you say about my mama? <laughs> yeah, don't get my husband. All right, all right, do a different one because we ain't trying to die tonight. I, I don't know, man. Um, all right, okay, just go. Homeless man, no, 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 just go with would you rather? Would you rather anything? Would you rather blah, blah, blah? It don't got to be chicks. Okay. Just would you rather? Cancer or we can what? I don't know. See, well, I had one for, for chicks anyway. But would all right, we'll do the chicks then. Sleep with somebody that was has been homeless for like five years and only washed once. Or. What? Nervous. I mean, oh, what was my or? See, one's a one fucking thing. Another one. Or, or, a huge woman has been on the learning channel about her eating disabilities and she's stuck in a bed. <laughs> is and she, she clean though? <laughs> huh? The other one ain't washed in five years. She, I mean, she so, clean. So you got, they, she's as clean as she can reach. Shit, they both dirty uh, then. 
It's somebody taking care of her, though. Huh? Somebody taking care yeah, of her. Yeah, but she's still 900 pounds. So that means she's clean. Hey, that means she got some a, a nice crevices for me to fuck on. <laughs> no, I could be fucking the armpit or something. <laughs> Look, as, as long as she clean. But, okay, but if you sleep with the big one, she gets to be on top. Oh, oh hell, I ain't trying to die. Well, either way, you're going you gonna to die from toxic fumes. <laughs> you're going to die from toxic fumes or or suffocation, asphyxiation. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Can you wash the homeless one? <laughs> Look, can I can I run it through the uh through the can, can I can I run it by auto bail? Hey, why she slamming the door? <laughs> That's why I be asking her all the time why she slamming the damn door. Look, can we run it through the auto bail? Can we strap her to oh, the hood? Oh man! And run it through the auto bail real quick. Yeah, whatever. All right, well I'm taking her then. Look, I'm gonna sprinkle I'm gonna sprinkle some okay, dawn on. No, no, I mean, no, hell no, y'all to take her as is. Like a car. Oh, take me as I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'ma take, cause if if that big girl get on me, she 900 pounds, she ain't gonna be able to move nothing. I damn sure ain't gonna be able to move nothing. So we just gonna be sitting there. Y'all gonna be, be slow. She gonna be slowly I killing you. I reckon so. It <laughs> would be softer with her. Like, <clears throat> you do it with the dirty girl, you never know what she got. All right, bam. I'm gonna put on a hazmat suit and have a dick hole in the hazmat suit. And put four condoms on and fuck the dirty girl. I mean, with you know, the more, more condoms you put on, the more likely the condom is to break. Shit. All right. Well, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna just fuck the the, the homeless girl because um, uh, <laughs> I can't do. Because I don't got no standard. <laughs> Whatever. Nigga. I'm not that to do. I mean, okay, you gonna sleep with a big girl? I mean, 900 pounds. I I'll, I'll sleep with I sleep with a with a big girl if she's pretty, but 900 pounds don't. Like, that's my, like me fucking my car in the gas tank. The whole, the whole point of this thing is not to be logical. Oh yeah, true that, true that, true that. All right, Nick, Nick turn, Nick turn. Y'all ain't even say what y'all was gonna do. I said the homeless girl. But <laughs> y'all talking about me. Um, I said I would severely protect myself. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna severely protect myself. I'm gonna protect. I'm, I'm using protection in all of these scenarios, by the way. So yeah. Yeah, safety first. Fuck, fuck that! I'm raw dogging. Yeah, I'm raw dogging. Oh, we can't cuss. He's been cussing the whole time. Look, I'm gonna put a, a, a parental warning before I put this scene up. I'm gonna just bathe in a huge tub of Germans. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill the tub up with Clorox. Fuck her right beside the tub and jump in as soon as I nut. <laughs> jump in the Clorox as soon as I nut. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, ha, 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 I don't want you to change. Let your bathtub be beige. What are we now? Oh, that ain't the video. Would you? What are we doing? What would you, would you it's would you rather, or it could be, you know, she can get. It's would you rather anything? Would you rather get your balls fondled by a dude? <laughs> Other option. <laughs> option. Or, or get your balls fondled by Caitlyn Jenner. They're fucking dudes. They're both dudes. She's got. She's a girl. I knew this nigga was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they both do, so we both lose. Okay, is one of the dudes a doctor? He is. Okay, well, that's shit. I'm, 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 man, it's a doctor. It's a doctor. Oh, no, Twist. No, no, Twist. You, was trying, you, you just want some man love. <laughs> yeah, I love you, dog. I love you too, dog. Let's get married, man. Back to our regularly scheduled programming of week content and slow jamming. Yo, what's up, my people? <clears throat> um, sorry about uh, last night after I left. Well, my phone died. My camera died while I was kicking it with the homies last night. So, um, I guess I have to end this one off here. It is morning time, but for the sake of this vlog, it's, this vlog is I'm editing it right now, and this vlog is like hella long. So it's like 30 minutes. It's, it's gonna be like 30 minutes, give or take. Um, but. I don't know if that's too much. So if there's anybody out there, just leave me a comment and um, let me know, should I cut it down? Like save some for later or do y'all like the long vlogs? But um, 
yeah. So I'm just gonna end this one here because I didn't end it last night, so it's kind of awkward. But appreciate you watching. However you found me, I appreciate you finding me. I appreciate you watching. If you can, just give me a like. Uh, that 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 encourages me. Um, just give me a like. You don't even have to scroll, uh, subscribe. Just give me a like, and I'll appreciate it forever. Thank you. Peace. And chicken grease. Uh, 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 uh. They say the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Got cavities for sweet 16s. I got a sweet tooth. Dennis tell me to floss, but I do, so I don't need to.